Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Well, I just got an email that yesterday at 1.30, I got some rocks in the box. Let's check and see. Oh yeah, we started filling the ditch up again too. Yeah, logical provisions. We'll see how their chert is. I think it's Georgetown chert, something like that. All right, it is 8.30 on Sunday evening. We now have some lighting that'll show the sparks. Let's see if this chert is any good. One big piece, and you could tell by the smooth, glassy feel, this is top quality shirt this is going to be enjoyable should ignite the char cloth very quickly very easily let's try four pieces of char cloth i better get on with it this camera makes it look like there's plenty of light out here but it's pretty dim out let's see what it'll do That's the char cloth. I'm throwing plenty of sparks in on top of it, but it's not igniting. Right. Let's try it again. See if this piece of char cloth can catch these sparks any better. This is a great piece of chert. It's just showering this char cloth with all kinds of sparks. But this char cloth is no longer reactive like it was when it first came out of the can. It doesn't have to be. I'm not, I'm not trying to say that char cloth should always be one or two strike like when it first comes out of the fire. What I'm trying to say is there is a difference between fresh char cloth and char cloth that's been stored a few days and a few months. If there's some way to preserve that reactivity, like when it first comes out of the fire, that's just what I'm investigating. You know, uh, desiccant packets in, in with your char cloth, keeping them sealed up good and tight to keep the moisture out of them. You know, that's a good start. The sharpest and the best shirt, flint and quartz is a good way to deal with sort of non-reactive char cloth.
Boy, in this lighting, you can see right down at the core of that tinder bundle, you can see the flames start to rise up and then they die down. And I blow on it some more and the flames start to rise up and they die down until finally it gets intense enough to send it to flames. All right, here's our last piece. Let's try a different edge this time. You want your char cloth laying down flat on the stone if possible. See, that should have ignited it. There was plenty of sparks that went right up in those threads. They went right up in them threads, hung up in the threads, and went right out. Let me show you. is non-reactive char cloth. Alright y'all, I am very happy with my new piece of chert. This is quality chert and it's going to last me a long time. When I beat all those sharp edges off of there, I'll use bipolar percussion and break some new fresh sharp edges. This one piece of, this one chunk of chert will last a very long time. So, I recommend them. Uh, I'll leave the link to this company in the description. So. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one. I left some behind for other wild animals.